Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we have another Smithy 3-in-1. Um, this one has a fair amount of tooling with it as well. So I'm going to do a quick review on how to use it. And then also this machine is for sale for those of you interested. Um, I'll leave some contact information and shipping options at the end of the video. So for now, let's get started. Uh, We've got a fair amount of collets in this tub here. Uh, there are a couple collet closers. I have not tried each individual one. There is one in the machine already. Um, also comes with some knurling tools, chuck, vise, the chuck key for the uh, lathe and such. We've got some indexable cut cutters here. Um, a couple more right here and then we've got a whole box full of drill bits end mills double end mills uh, just all sorts of cutters in there uh, we've got a small tray of carbide inserts right here I don't know how many of these will fit the cutters or not I have not tried them all um, but they are included and I'm sure will fit some of Okay, so I'm going to start this thing up and uh, do a quick walkthrough on some of the features of this machine uh, and how it works and everything like that. So down here we have the on-off switch and it also is forward and reverse. So this is forward. And left would be reverse. And this will be your tapping and threading speeds. First speed will be here, and this is your engagement lever. And as you can see, that's turning my threads. And then right here would be for second speed. Now we're going to be moving faster. And this is to disengage or engage the threading features. Go ahead and turn the mill off, or the lathe off. This would work for your forward and reverse on your threading, because uh, if you put the lathe in forward, uh, it'll move the bed one way. If you put it in reverse, it'll move it the other way. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Uh, we have the, the head. The quill will move down manually like that. Or you can also engage this knob right here and then you can micro adjust how fast it goes down with this knob right here for minute drilling or cutting or whatever um, so that's how that works this one comes with a uh, live center right here so this center is live um, it has an adapter on it so that it fits this tailstock. I believe the tailstock and the drill press, drill press head are both uh, Morse taper number threes. This tailstock can be moved back and forth with this right here. It has the minute measurements right there. It's a little bit worn on the inch, uh, inch measuring stick. Uh, the metric is all good right there. Uh, the tailstock is locked or freed by this lever here and can now be moved back and forth just by sliding like that and uh, can be locked back in place by locking that down right there. And to operate the drill press you open this back cover right here and this lever is a little off. You come over here, turn your knob on. And that's how the drill press is engaged or disengaged um, simply by pulling this knob or out. And that would be out of the lathe and drill press. And you've got your speeds that you can do with the uh, multi step pull. 
pulleys here with the belt. This head also swivels out of the way, so you loosen that knob, you can swing this head all the way around. Um, get it out of the way that way. Take this knob out of the way, you can do a full 360. So yeah, very nice machine. Um, the drill press also has uh, the multiple speed pulleys in it for different speeds, as you can see there. Very easy to change them if needed. This tool post here. Uh, very easy to operate for swiveling, adjusting how, how close to the workpiece you want to get with your cutter. You can also just move your cross slide here. Um, very easy to operate. This cross slide is for the larger uh, adjustments. You can also swivel the smaller cross slide and it has a numbered degree measure, measurement on the side so you can swivel, swivel that by loosening that nut there and this nut here. Another thing this one can do that I haven't seen on many of them is the head will actually raise up off of the lathe by turning this handle right here It'll work its way up these threads so you can move the head even further out of the way if needed. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, as mentioned earlier in the video, if you guys are interested, this machine is for sale. Uh, I can ship this via freight through Fastenal stores anywhere in the lower 48 states except California. California would be an extra freight charge, uh, but for the rest of the 47 states, it would be free shipping. Um, the way the Fasten All stores work is I will palletize it for free um, to a pallet and I will drop it off at my local Fasten All store and then you are responsible to pick it up once it arrives at your local Fasten All store. So yeah, never had any issues with them, shipped many, many, many items through them. Uh, just an excellent way to ship freight. It usually takes about two weeks for it to arrive, so bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's an excellent service. Um, as mentioned listing, the machine is in good, good working condition. It is obviously used, has its scuffs and bangs, but is excellent, loaded with tooling, um, ready to go to work. Yeah, just very nice machine. Quick reminder, uh, I had a lot of people request for international uh, shipping on my last machines, and just want to remind you guys that I will not be shipping this internationally due to liability reasons, and usually it's astronomically expensive to ship these things internationally, so yeah. Again, sorry about it, but I just, uh, my prior uh, policy is not to ship these internationally. So again, sorry, but it's just the way it is. Um, again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, as always, like, subscribe. And for the subscribers that I already have, thank you guys so much. It means a lot. And uh, stay tuned, and I will uh, continue posting videos. Thank you.